Super Bowl week is so much more than just a game. There is a seemingly <laughs> endless list of parties and events, right? We don't have enough time. Right, but what if you're buying a ticket for something that's not a legitimate event, right? If you try buying tickets to some of these fake parties, you could really end up losing a lot of money. What are you going to do? What well, are you going to turn to on your side? So let's prevent all of this. Susan Campbell is live at the State Farm Stadium with red flags to be on the lookout for. Good morning, guys. Yes, yeah, scroll through social media and you are going to spot some of these fake parties. I saw one promising a game day suite ticket here, but the word suite was spelled like the word suit. We saw another invitation promising a rooftop pool party, but when we drove past the location, we couldn't find a rooftop and we didn't see a pool. You want to be part of the Super Bowl action. You know there are parties planned all over the city. Here's one for a hundred bucks. It promises people from all over the country will link up and join the poolside and full city view on a rooftop full of fun. But something seems a little off about this. So we decided to drive past the location to check it out. Turn right onto East Pier Street. Then the destination is on your right. Okay, so we are just arriving at the address on the invitation and I don't see any tall buildings. I don't see anything that looks like a rooftop pool. I don't see anywhere to have a party with a lot of people in town for the Super Bowl. Just a construction site here. Do your due diligence, call the venue, try get information from them, try to see how maybe the wording is, if it's something where it is something that's done locally or it's internationally, but usually when things are too good to be true, they usually are. Sergeant Phil Krinsky with Phoenix PD says another telltale sign of a scam is an advertisement riddled with misspellings. You can definitely make a report with us. We do appreciate any type of information and we'll be able to assess to see if it's something we can't help out criminally or not. It's one of those things sometimes uh, once the money is gone, it's gone. If you do decide to buy a ticket to some sort of event or party, consider using a credit card. There is just a little extra layer of protection there with that credit card. If something goes wrong, you can tell the credit card company and try to get your money back. If you use a cash or wire or gift card, that money is gone. Guys. That is unbelievable, Susan. I'm here for the rooftop. Oh, wait, there's no well, building. You know. <laughs> Right. Well, and you know, anytime there's a big event, scammers right. target that, especially if it's a lot of out of, out of towners coming in. They don't know some of these addresses. They don't know to go and look. Um, so it's kind of an easy target. Wow. All right. Thanks for letting us know. Great story.